to be. We actually have a nice day after a couple rainy days, so we're gonna do a lesson outside. Uh, we're gonna do this one in the driveway. It's about using sidewalk chalk. It's a pretty fun activity. It's good for the whole family. And actually, it's also uh, the type of thing that you know, if you and your brothers and sisters wanna go out, you could probably do it yourself without your parents. Um, or you could do it with an older brother or sister, even if they're in high school and 11th and 12th grade. Uh, we're gonna start with, we have a little sidewalk chalk kit. So what we like to do is keep all of our sidewalk chalk in one spot and anything we need with it is in here. Sometimes when you're doing sidewalk chalk, people don't like that feel of the chalk on their hands. You may have done that when your teacher asked you to come to the chalkboard and you pick up the chalk and you kind of get the heebie-jeebies, okay? So if that's how you feel, you can put a pair of gloves in your sidewalk chalk kit. Uh, we have some blue tape in there because we're gonna do a special little project today. Uh, duct tape will work, masking tape will work too. Duct tape's probably the strongest, but uh, I don't have that much duct tape at home right now, so I'm not gonna use that. I have a lot of blue tape, so we're gonna use the blue tape today, but it all works the same. And uh, of course you need your, your chalk in there. So this is our sidewalk chalk kit. It's just an old shoe box. And I'm gonna let you see what's inside just so that you can make your own if you want to. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, Ninja! It's Ninja. Is this a surprise attack? What's that, Ninja? You were just waiting this whole time because you wanted to do sidewalk chalk? Ninja, Ninja wants to do sidewalk chalk with us. How cool is that? Ninja, that's so cool. Ninja, it's funny. When we did the hydro dipping video, I, you weren't around. I didn't see you anywhere. I wonder what was going on. Well, anyways, let's get started. Here's our, I'm gonna put Ninja over here sitting down. Actually, Ninja can sit right here for now. We've got our blue tape. We've got gloves in case you don't like the feeling. I don't really care about that, so I'm not gonna wear gloves. But like I said, if it does bother you and you have some old gloves that you use to wash dishes or to clean the sink or something like that, these are perfect. And they're almost one size fits all, usually. We have string, and I'll talk about that in a second. This knife is in here just because this is what I use to open uh, the sidewalk chalk with but you probably shouldn't have a knife in your kit. This is just for Mr. B or for your parents. This is the regular sidewalk chalk that we have. It's just the same kind that you guys would see at school if you're at the playground or something. This is some um, other kind of sidewalk chalk that I purchased, and I purchased it just because it's a little bit bigger and a little bit different color. And this is a little bit fancier kind of hard to tell now and I've never used it before but I thought it might be interesting it's supposed to have a little bit of glitter in it so it might sparkle in the sunlight okay so we've got all our stuff I'm gonna put some of this away and move it to the side and I'm actually gonna move ninja to the side with it okay so one of the things we're gonna do today is we're gonna use the tape to draw lines to kind of Keep our sidewalk chalk inside and then we're going to use the tape to make extra lines so that our sidewalk chalk hey how's it going then our sidewalk chalk is going to look a little bit more like a stained glass window we kind of talked about that in the in the video i don't know if we did it before or after this but we will talk a little bit about that so tape it'll stick okay as long as your driveway doesn't have too much like rocks and pieces of goop on it, you'll be fine. That's all we need. And then we can peel that one off because that's an extra one. If you want to make a circle, you're going to have to get a piece of string or something like that. Okay? Here, can you step on that for me? What we would do is we would take a piece of chalk, we'd wrap it around, hold it at the end, and we would just draw right a circle all the way around so that's the way to do it as long as you keep this the same distance you can do that all around that's a little more difficult a little more advanced but it could be really fun to do and it might look more like the rose windows at the uh, notre dame uh, cathedral okay the famous rose windows what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna do a square uh, just because it's easier and because we'll have enough time to get it done. So I'm going to start taking my tape. I'm going to square off this section. Oh, that's a little 
little crooked. It doesn't really matter if it's crooked or not. I'm gonna step on it as I stretch it out just so that it doesn't move anywhere because blue tape isn't the strongest tape, but it will stick. This might end up being a little more of a rectangle. I'm gonna overlap that up here. Press it down, step on it, stretch it out. Now for the purposes of video time, I'm not gonna make this too big because you guys, maybe it's a sunny day at your house and you've got an hour or two hours, three hours to do this and you're having fun, you can make it as big as you want. But I'm gonna stop right about here just because I wanna make sure we get this video done so you can see it. This is more of a rectangle, but that's fine. Overlap the tape a little bit. And right before I put the last one on, This one gets a little wonky at the end. So I'm gonna straighten it out to the best I can. And as always, if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. You're still gonna have fun doing this. Now I'm gonna finish off the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Look at this one to see if it looks, it's close tops a little bit off so I'm gonna peel this up a little bit peel this one up a little bit a little bit hard to get because I don't have very big fingernails there we go oh, thought I had it that's a little better there we go I'm gonna press down on those chalk lines, or on those tape lines. And we have to remember pressing down on that because that's gonna be important in a few seconds. Now, we can do anything we want now. If we're gonna make this look like a stained glass window, we can put any design we want. I'm gonna start with one that goes about halfway down, actually, to make it easier. I'm gonna bring this one all the way to the edge. Now when we go to color in this spot, that's a big huge uh, spot to color one color. So instead of leaving it like that, I'm going to put a few more pieces of tape and break it up. It's going to look cooler. They don't have to be triangles. They don't have to be squares. They can be any shape you want. I like one that has a bunch of smaller ones. Um, so these are going to be filled in with the chalk and right now we're going to take a break so I can finish this up, okay? Okay, the taping is done. Uh, actually Ninja just pointed something out to me. I wasn't paying too much attention, but he said there are a few of these little tapes that go over across the line. And he said, if we're trying to make it look like it's a stained glass window, the leading, which is what they used to call it, because they used to use lead, uh, might make a little mark in your chalk. Ninja's a perfectionist. What are you gonna do? I mean, he's a ninja. So, I'm gonna tell you it's not gonna matter that much, and at the end you can even draw that color over top. Or, like this one, you can fold it back a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Or you can take it Pull it back, put your finger on it, and rip it off a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna leave these ones just so we can keep going. I uh, wanted to say thank you again for joining in. We're gonna start to color this in now. When you guys are finished coloring yours in, I'd love you to take a picture and send it to me. This is a fun one. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna start coloring in. Me and uh, my partner and Ninja here. <laughs>
finish coloring it in, uh, my buddy, my daughter helped me. Uh, Ninja did a couple himself. Thanks, Ninja, for the help. Nice job. Uh, Ninja's wearing his black outfit. We might have to help him get cleaned off. One thing I do like to do when I'm doing this is along the tape line, I should have probably said this first, my first lines that I like to do is kind of push the chalk along the tape line and along the cement, the blacktop, before I start coloring it. It kind of pushes the tape down and it keeps the tape from buckling a little bit. Then I like to color it in. You can see it takes a lot of chalk to get this done, uh, but if you've got a big thing of chalk, you could do a whole big square in your driveway. Now this, is a cement driveway so it's more of a light tan color to be honest this looks a little bit better on a blacktop driveway because then all these lines when you peel it off look black kind of like a stained glass window so what we're going to do now is we're going to peel off the tape so you can see what it looks like uh, without the uh, blue tape lines okay all right you're right ninja we should have done that one in slow motion because that was very satisfying that actually went way better than planned. If you get a good corner or a couple corners and you can peel it off, especially if you have a piece of tape over another tape and you pick up the, un the tape that's underneath, it peels off more and more. Uh, we didn't expect it to go that fast. Looks pretty good, Ninja. Thanks for your help. I uh, got a nice high five from Ninja there at the end because he was excited to see us pull off the tape. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Uh, we used a couple different kinds of chalk. You can see the different colors. You can might actually be able to see the glitter in some of the chalk. So this is something you could easily do on your driveway. Like I said, you can do it with duct tape. You can do it with masking tape. You can do it with the blue tape. Just have to be careful where you put your lines. If you do want to make a circle, you're going to have to use that string idea and trace the outline around it. Then you can do all the lines on the inside, kind of like the rose window from uh, Notre Dame. And then... The difference is these lines here, sorry about my shadow, on my driveway are a little bit different than if you have a blacktop driveway. If you have a blacktop driveway, it really, really, really stands out. So uh, thanks for watching the video. We have a couple more coming up this week. I hope you had fun. Take another look at our thing here, our uh, stained glass window I made out of sidewalk chalk. And please send me your ideas after you get them done. All right, for uh, my daughter, for the ninja man, Thank you.